so uh, I am at the new National Stadium, uh, subway station, and uh, today I found out that the closest exit to the stadium has uh, been closed. Uh, you may wonder why, uh, with the Olympics, you know. So these two gates are closed, and answers to the, uh, wow, look at this. That's kind of huge. So that is closed because nobody's going to use these uh, exits because uh, there are going to be no spectators at the Tokyo Olympics, unfortunately. So they built this uh, national stadium, uh, which you will see in a moment, uh, but uh, no, the members of the general public are not going to use it, which is of course ridiculous. And I really don't like these people who have made this decision. It's a really stupid decision if you want my opinion. Well, even if you don't want my opinion, I am going to say that because it's stupid. <laughs> yeah, I'm a mildly, mild tempered person. I am not going to use any curse words. Oh, and they are doing these constructions, I think. Just in time for the uh, opening ceremony. Oh, I don't know if they are putting them up or hitting them off. But anyway, uh, everything is done, history, in preparation for the opening ceremony, which only the government of shoes and IOC of shoes are going to attend. Uh, to be fair, it's not the fault of the IOC officials. Uh, you know, it's the fault of the Tokyo Olympics Organizing Committee, uh, who, uh, in my opinion, are uh, cowards. <laughs> because they didn't have the guts to go ahead with the plan of allowing spectators into the stadium. A beautiful stadium, by the way. I have covered this stadium many, many times now. It's designed by Ken Gokuma, and. I'm just wondering if I can go. Oh, there are many people here, <laughs> but I don't know if I can go anywhere near there. Uh, and there are some several media people, I think, and some members of the general public. I, but I can't go near the National Stadium for some reason or another. And there's. This interesting area of tension, if I can't, well, I can't actually go there. This is interesting. Sumasen, Nihon Seinen Kan Homen, to do it, take it in this. Sendagaya, I found out that I have to make all these detours. I can't go near the stadium. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, so, you know, this has been one of my biggest disappointments in my life. You know, and this is off limits too. Uh, my di biggest disappointment. Um, this the fact that they are going to hold the Tokyo Olympics without any spectators. It's the, a number of misjudgments and miscalculations and, you know, public relations disaster have led to this uh, really uh, regrettable state of affairs. And, you know, uh, I was not uh, really old enough when the last Tokyo Olympics was held in 1964. I was just at the tender age of one. So obviously I don't remember things. But you know, the legacy of the Tokyo Olympics in 1964 lived on. And, but look at all these graves or whatever you call them. I don't know what kind of operation they're going to use, but this is obviously not 
normal. I mean, everything is geared up for the opening ceremony, I guess. But if members of the general public, including me, were allowed into the stadium, then it would have been wonderful. But you know, it feels so strange to see these barricades off and people, you know. Uh, I, so I can't go there. So, but I can make use of the other side. So I'm going to use that. So you can't actually go through here, obviously. So, oh. So I'm forced to make all these detours. Uh, you, normally, you know, I can just go straight to the Nihon Seilenkan uh, hotel. But today, I have to make all these detours. Really huge detours. And presumably all these cars are detained there because there are traffic restrictions. And Hi. This uh, prison kindly is, you know, streamlining. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so I can. Nihon Seinenkan Hotel. Nihon Seinenkan. Eh, to. Do you have Nihon Seinen? Go, go, go. Where did you say you えっとね、僕も今日初めてのあれで、あ、そうですよね。for the detour, you cannot access the, the hotel I was supposed to go. Uh, but they, these were kind people. I mean, they were you know, considering my situation and uh, they were you know, well-meaning. And so I have to go all the way to the, this is ridiculous. So you can access the whole area, uh, obviously. Oh, this is funny. And these people were not aware. They said that they were stationed starting today. I think these are uh, really wonderful people, you know, trying to do their best to, you know, go ahead with this Olympics. And they didn't realize that you know, you can't go in that direction through the parks uh, because, you know, things are just going up for the big thing, which we are not allowed to, you know, sp you know observe, obviously. So, and there are so many policemen, uh, a police car even, uh, yeah. This is something I've never seen, and of, uh, now I feel that the Olympics is really coming. Uh, in a way, certainly different from uh, the way uh, I was hoping to have. But uh, I guess you can't help it. So I'm making this detour. Maybe I have to, you know, I'm going to be late by maybe 10, 20 minutes because of this huge detour uh, but uh, it gives me some time to reflect on this event if I can uh, please man. so uh, I think everybody involved is good nature uh, it's just people at the top that have made 
a huge mistake in you know deci deciding that this Olympics is going to be without spectators. So uh, for residents like me in Tokyo, the Olympics feel so distant, like just I've been feeling right now. You know, I wanted to stroll nice and gently beside the new Tokyo Stadium, National Stadium, but I was not allowed to do that because of restrictions of access. Uh, that's why this Olympics is feeling so distant. Uh, you know, there are no ways, of course, you know, there are obvious reasons, I understand that, but I'm just stating the fact that we are not allowed to mix with the athletes. Uh, they are in the bubble, that's what they call. And okay, so that's a magic link. Huh? And this is also, I think, uh, oh, oh, we can go that way. That's great. Uh, so Actually, that's where the uh, crown prince, no, uh, that, not the crown prince, uh, Prince Akihito, uh, Akshinomiya uh, lives in. You know, that's an uh, imperial ground. And uh, I'm waiting for the signal now. Yeah, yeah, it's quite interesting that even the security people, they don't know how to go from point A to point B. So... Oh my gosh. <laughs> so people in general, uh, I think, uh, we're meaning and kind. I am just going to ask, just in case. So I have just discovered that you can hopefully go to the hotel that I was hoping to go. Nihon Seinenka Hotel. By using this historian, that's what he said. But the question is whether he's aware of all the restrictions and so on. So, the last Olympics uh, in 1964 was a great uh, symbol of Japan's... Uh, <laughs> I'm just amazed at this new fencing that they have built. So, I've got the idea. So, <laughs> I... I am at a loss. I mean, these fencing were not here before. So obviously they are fending the whole area off just for the, you know, Olympics. And you can't go inside there. Uh, that's an area where people usually go for jogging and you know, just taking it easy and so on. But because of the fencing, you can't go there. So this whole area is actually fenced off and this is amazing. Wow. Uh, I think there's an enoch tree, I don't know the English name for that, that the mage emperor was supposed to be involved in some way or another. But I'm just, you know. Oh, there's a real person inside, and this should be one of the stuff. So, the Olympic stuff are out in there. We are not. Uh, the whole festivity. Wow. Wow. This is amazing. This is quite amazing. Uh, the whole, whole area is and it off. <laughs> Quite amazing. You know, I come here often, so... 
Yeah, it was interesting. The cyclist said, mm. <laughs> he was realizing that all these areas are fended off. So he cannot probably take the usual route that he's taking. Uh, <laughs> this is really funny. So I do. I do. Maybe I should have thought, you know, better, but um, I don't realize that oh these this is MP road zone, whatever MP is. MP road. MP roading. What, what is member of the parliament? Are these members of the parliament? Uh, I don't think <laughs> Uh, I don't think they would do that, but um, this is a MP loading zone, whatever MP is. So, yeah, so this is going to be a huge event, I hope. So this, so, but this was great, because I now know, uh, you know, the extent to which I can have access to the Tokyo Olympics, because Oh, there's this brave person uh, getting on a bike. Uh, since there are no traffic here, maybe it's a good time to make use of this road, which is usually filled with cars and so on. So there are no cars here today. So it's a good time to make use of it as a pedestrian, which I probably will, because I see many people doing just that, taking photos and. Mm. So, in the event of Olympics, maybe, presumably this road is used for loading people and... <laughs> wow, this is amazing. This fence is new, I mean, it has never been there. I didn't know these were being constructed. Uh, so, the whole area is... Turn it off. <laughs> no access for members of the general public. Hmm, no spectators. Wow. So, and again, there's, uh, I think that is also off limits. Yeah, that is some venue, I think. And there are security people everywhere. Yeah, they are gentle people. I mean, they are just hired to protect the greatest event on earth in the year 2021, at least. So I'm getting back to the real world now. Wow, this is quite amazing. So I think um, it's going to be like this. Uh, the only access we would have to the Olympic Games would be through television. Um, it would be no different from you know, people watching it on NBC in the United States or BBC in the UK. You know, although it's being held in Tokyo, we wouldn't have any, you know, physical proximity, so to speak, to the events. And I wonder if they have built these samurai castles just for the occasion or these were here before, I don't recall. It does look like a special occasion thing because I see these are made by cardboards and, and I kind of have an idea of who has built these castles. Uh, <laughs> is that castle over there? I have some idea. So the athletes and people would be entering from here. So they would be seeing these castles and that would be great. Now I'm into, back into the real world and I can walk freely. It's so nice to walk freely after all these, uh, you know, restrictions. So this is the real world, nothing to do with it. And because of the bubble, uh, I guess uh, 
there wouldn't be any, uh, you know, athletes or IOC related people going out into this wonderful world of Tokyo. So, I, well, in the sense, I, I think there's a consolation prize, even though the members of the general public cannot go to the venues, uh, we can enjoy this really wonderful uh, Tokyo, you know, restaurant number one in the world. So that's a consolation prize. But on the other hand, I just remember that because of the state of emergency declared by the government, uh, there will be no alcohol beverages to be served. No, not beer, not wine, not sake. And the restaurants will have to close at uh, 8 p.m. Last, last orders at 7 p.m. Mind you, there are no scientific evidence to designate these uh, times, obviously. The so-called experts. I have been criticizing this bunch of people <laughs> repeatedly in the past. These experts, they don't have any idea the, the general public about how this situation will unfold from here. But they appear as if they know everything and the politicians typically they are taken in by these uh, experts <laughs> and you know hey presto they follow the adv advices of the experts which is really unfortunate because uh, there's a tesla out right there and uh, this is oh they have the golf gambas stickers a very really nice stickers but i wonder what they will be doing without uh the alcohol so originally I was going from here to here, but instead I took this detour. Such a huge detour, senseless detour, all for the sake of this wonderful sports event, the Olympics. Oh. It was a nice exercise. Yeah, I'm supposed to be uh, competing in Tokyo Marathon this year, which was it has been postponed, and it'll be held in on 17th of October, I think. Uh, after all is over, uh, the Olympics and Paralympics, and uh, yeah, uh, so I have to. You know, kind of lose some weight. Well, lose actually a lot of weight <laughs> to. Oh, there's a. There. So, so you, you might feel the really marked contrast between the you know world of Tokyo Olympics and the real city of Tokyo, which I think is much nicer uh, than the secluded of limits world of uh you know <laughs> that Tokyo Olympics. But I guess they cannot help it. The Japanese people are really meticulous in preparation and execution of these things and oh this is the Tokyo 2020 uh poster. And this is amazing. Uh, Priska from Hiroshima is actually, uh, you know, guarding. That's a ship. That Priska is from Hiroshima. So I guess they are, you know, recruiting all these people from all over Japan to go ahead with the Tokyo Olympics. Wow, this has been amazing. This has been quite a revelation. And the policeman standing there probably is from Hiroshima. That's a police car from Hiroshima. But interestingly, I haven't seen many, any uh, demonstrations or protests 
while I came here. So this is uh, again a uh, traffic restriction for people. Uh, probably, I, I think residents can go into that area because otherwise they can't move their cars around around their houses. But otherwise, people wouldn't be able to, you know, do anything. And this is, you can park here, you cannot, uh, you know. Uh, this is a swirls shop because Yakut swirls is based on in the sodium over there. These are the pet bottles. I don't have to describe them to you. Uh, uh, Yakut swirls again. So usually people would come to this area and you know go to the baseball stadium and enjoy the game and later come out and have beer or two but we cannot do that for now maybe sometime later long after the Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics are over uh, so I am finally coming to the area I wanted to come originally and I had to make all these detours <laughs> Yes, it take, it's taking me 20 minutes more than planned. How wonderful life is, full of detours. But uh, on the way, maybe you have seen some nice parts of Tokyo on the National Stadium. So that's a consolation prize. Just like we cannot go to the Olympics but, uh, see, to see the games, but we can have all the rest of Tokyo full of nice restaurants and you know, things that the Olympic athletes and IOC officials cannot enjoy because they are in the bubble, so they say. They cannot get out of the bubble, so they say. I don't know if it's going to be that way forever, but uh, that's what they say. This is a senior high school. That's what they say. Well, they, it is actually Ashini High School. Yeah. This recording is taking uh, longer than expected. And these are, uh, look at these, you know, drawings, pictures, paintings made by kids. You know, they have been dreaming about the Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics. But. You know, things are very different now. Cannot be helped. Cannot be helped. Oh, that car is being turned back because we cannot go from here. Off limits. Um, there's the sign of Tokyo Olympics. PX, AP, whatever, MP. I don't know what these categories are, but uh, DDS, DDS, lead zone, low zone, DDS, DDS, Medjing Wiki Go. That's a base watch stadium for Yakut Swarovs. Ah. PSA. What, whatever it is, I'm not associated with. What is this? No, no. I'll just know.